this is it. This was the project that started it all. My first real lathe project. It's actually first August here in Maryland, which means it'll probably be hot as all get out next week. And the Maryland Renaissance Festival is coming up. And that's what I made these for, to go to the Renaissance Festival. Uh, looking at this one, it's, it's Bloodwood, Flaming, Box Elder. Um, and I even put something on the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I made a total of 12 of these for family and friends. And we went to the Renaissance Festival. Um, some of us got dressed up because, well, I'm that guy. Um, and we carried these around and we drank beer or soda, if you're my children. Mmm, beer. The beer tankards are actually coated in FDA approved resin, um, good for food contact. So this one was covered in Max CLR. Since I've learned of Max CLR, as everybody knows, my favorite resin that is food quality uh, graded is Stone Coat Countertop. So we're gonna give that a try. You know what, I'm gonna make some more tankards for some friends and I thought, well, why not video this one and make a great video? Uh, it's timely and these are just, these are fun to make. Um, the one I'm getting ready to make though is gonna be Harry Potter inspired and I'm pretty excited to get started, which is why I'm fumbling through this intro. So thanks for coming back to the channel. I, I really love it when you leave comments. Make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you think about it, you know what, share the channel. I got a lot more projects coming up. Let's make a tankard. What is this wizardry, you ask? My small, very small, table saw. And that comes in handy a lot of times um, for these easy cuts down the shop for thin material so I don't have to run up to the garage and get it done. Totally worth the money. So I'm back in the shop after a couple days. Came down, checked my gluing. Um, I was pretty excited to get started working on the bottom and the top because I do base and cap layers 
uh, that are in contrasting woods when I build these mugs. And I realized I made a gross, well, not really gross, but a design error. Obviously, when I was doing the design work and I got to dancing to the Bee Gees, um, I lost my mind because I wanted to go Bloodwood, Yellow Heart, followed by Bloodwood. I went with Yellow Heart, Bloodwood, Yellow Heart, which is not what I wanted. Um, so after I blew off some steam, um, I got my wits about me and I re-glued it up. And I guess we're going to save this and use it, um, I don't know, maybe we'll use it for the handle. We'll see. We've all had that day in the shop when things aren't going right, when you know you gotta say when, and that's today. Um, just a momentary or split second catch with the tool and the base is ruined and well, it's all about the base, right? Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. We'll give this a go another day.
wizard's hat, check. Harry Potter glasses, got it. What are we missing? I give you Gryffindor. <laughs> yeah, we're done. The Gryffindor Harry Potter inspired beer mug is done. I'm super, super excited. Um, in fact, I can't really can't stop looking at it. I mean, she gave me a run for my money, as you know, and I couldn't be more stoked about it. Um, we went with uh, Bloodwood and Yellowheart. Uh, that pseudo mistake I talked about made a gorgeous handle. And um, unfortunately, my footage, um, I lost some of it where you saw where I did the, the turning for the bottom. Um, I used a, uh, a flat cold jaw uh, to turn the bottom and, and create this um, this detail in here. Of course, we put the uh, old Jolly Roger in the bottom. Um, but what you really missed, and I don't know if you can tell, is the diamond dust. A little bit of Harry Potter-esque magic and sparklies in this. I got truly inspired with the Harry Potter genre of these, so I kind of got a couple ideas. I've got some Burlwood laying around and I've got my stabilization chamber, so I'm thinking maybe we'll do a Ravenclaw. Um, I've got another Gryffindor in mind and a Slytherin in mind and even a Hufflepuff. Not surprising at all that Stone Coat Countertops Epoxy was fantastic to work with. I went ahead with three coats of it. Um, actually, there's really four on the inside. We've got this glass light finish and most importantly, it's FDA approved for, for food contact. I hope this video inspired the uh, young witch or wizard in you to give this a try. Like I said, these projects are so much fun. Um, they're relatively easy despite um, some of the hiccups I had for a beginner to try. You just got to take your time and let the wood speak to you. And at the end of the day, you come up with something that's just absolutely stunning and usable. And who doesn't love that? And it's a great gift. So I truly hope that every one of your days is magical and we'll see you on the next project. Oh, and don't forget, hit that like and subscribe button, and maybe, I don't know, share the channel a bit. We'll see you next time. Thank you.